Many carriers are afraid that their invoice will not be paid. The load is successfully delivered, but for various reasons, the broker does not pay the money, leaving carriers with thousands of dollars in losses. Imagine what kind of problems the company has when it finds out its money is being taken off the account or when it's still owing money to factoring companies or other business entities. Non-payment results in a significant loss of net profit. The expenses have already been paid. What if you don't have the time or knowledge to collect your well-earned 2500 bucks? That's the money you essentially gave away after working hard to earn it. Therefore, if a $2,500 payment for the shipping has not been received, it directly affects your financial resources. It is important to take proactive measures to prevent such situations. However, in the unfortunate event that non-payment does occur, immediate action must be taken to rectify the situation. Let's get to the point. In this lesson, you will learn the most common reasons of non-payment of invoices and how the carrier can find solutions to avoid significant financial losses. The methods presented in this lesson have been gathered from our clients, our experience working with various factoring companies and brokers. After this lesson, you will understand how to get your well-deserved money back. Pay close attention to this unit as it contains important information that can help you save up to $7,000 on a load. Prevention is the key to avoiding unnecessary financial losses caused by motor carriers or dispatchers lack of knowledge about working with brokers or lack of experience. In this part of a lesson, we'll give you the tools that you need to effectively manage the intricacies of working with brokers and make sure you get paid. Understanding the causes of broker non-payment is the first step to effectively resolving this issue. So let's examine the most common problems and their causes. Not getting paid for your services can be a big problem. It can happen if there is a misunderstanding or poor communication, if you work with a bad broker or if there is a double brokerage. There may also be claims against your payment. Not getting paid can seriously hurt your business, especially if you don't have a good system for tracking your money. That's why it's important to address these issues immediately and have a solid plan in place to protect your finances. Non-payment can be caused by simple communication problems. Missing a phone call, not reading an email or ignoring instructions from the broker can lead to payment issues. Once you provide the broker with company contact information, you need to be available to answer with a phone or follow up on the email where you receive questions or emails that indicate problem that needs to be resolved as soon as possible. Wrong address. One common problem is sending the invoice to the wrong address which can cause confusion. It's important to verify payment details with a broker to avoid this issue. Bad broker. You should understand that not everyone in the trucking business does their job well. And working with a bad broker often leads to headaches. Some brokers don't pay their bills, negotiate rates unfairly, or engage in double brokering. They may not even understand the load being transported and offer very low rates. To protect yourself, do thorough research, check references and avoid brokers with a history of non-payment or other problems. Reporting bad brokers to the authorities can help prevent harm to other trucking companies. Double brokering. Double brokers are scammers who never planned on paying you. They pick up loads as carriers and pose as brokers themselves, reselling loads and walking away with all the money. Double brokering is illegal in the trucking industry. It can occur when a carrier accepts a load for a specific motor carrier number but runs the load under a different one instead. This can be a common practice in the transportation industry, but it can lead to problems if the carrier does not notify the shipper or broker of the change. It is important for carriers and owner operators to be aware of the risks associated with double brokering and take steps to protect themselves from fraudulent behavior. Claim. A freight claim or cargo claim is a legal demand made by a shipper or consignee against a carrier for damage to or loss of a freight. The good news is that you can still save money regardless of a reason for non-payment. There are some carriers that can wait six months to recover lost funds after receiving a factoring chargeback and contesting the case. In our experience working with carriers, it typically takes up to a month to determine the cause of non-payment. It's crucial to persistently contact and email brokers until you get response, because if you don't, you may be left without any help. If you have the recourse factoring program, then in 90 days you will be the one who will have to collect the money from the broker. Let's look at the real-life example to highlight how seemingly simple reasons can lead to absurd situations. In the case of Landstar, a carrier had to fight hard for their payment of 1500 bucks. It turned out that there was a missed notice of assignment 
NOA on file. Landstar has a specific email address where the NOA must be sent. And if it's sent elsewhere, it's easy to assume it wasn't received. Another issue arose when the check was sent directly to the carrier but got lost. Due to the bureaucratic tactics of certain brokers, it took the accountant over three months to void the lost check and request a reissue to factoring. These cases can be challenging to identify if payment verification isn't done within the first 30 days or during that period. To avoid non-payment or potential problems, it's crucial to make the initial call or send an email within the first five days. Once the load is marked as delivered without any objections, contacting the broker's office can confirm that they have the load in their system. After 30 days, you can formally request the payment status. Remember, even small issues can lead to significant problems. If not addressed promptly, let's generalize. There are five main reasons why brokers don't pay invoices. They are poor communication, wrong address, bad broker, double brokering, and claim. In short, the solution to all of them is check, double check, and then verify what you've just checked. We all recommend that you dedicate one day of a week to analyze your charges in order to detect problems sooner because there is no other method to prevent upcoming non-payments. Only the broker themselves do not inform you about it, which really happens rarely. The main consequence of non-payment is that your business can stop operating, especially if you are a small company and every missing 500 bucks plays a rather important role in the truck's operational activity. Let's analyze what the consequences of a non-payment can be. The first and most obvious consequence is just a risk of not getting paid for your work, being left with having to pay all the expenses of your own pocket. The second outcome is a chargeback of the unpaid invoice amount out of your new upcoming loads after non-payment is over a deadline. It's individual with each factoring company, but it's generally around 90 days. The worst thing about this scenario is that you don't always get informed about non-payment on time. In fact, not always at all. But you keep getting money in advance from your factoring company. It hits you like a bolt of lightning, leaving you with a huge debt that you didn't even know existed. A non-payment could indicate a claim. Let's check out a real-life example. So, there was this carrier that worked exclusively with Pepsi for nearly two months and they were getting paid pretty well for their services. But guess what? After 60 days, they realized that Pepsi hadn't given them any info about the payment status. To make matters worse, there were some errors and all the load numbers in the carrier system got changed in the broker system. It was like loads booked with us didn't even exist. Because of this mess, the carrier had to pause their operations for quite a while. The factoring company charged back all the Pepsi loads that exceeded $20,000. They had to work for about a month to get everything under control. The broker was actually quite helpful throughout this process, which was an advantage. This situation just goes to show you what kind of problems can crop up when the broker doesn't pay for loads. And it also highlights the importance of completing certain stages within the specified time. It's not a fun situation to be in, that's for sure. No one wants to experience this even if the consequences of non-payment are predictable. The company must therefore put a lot of attention to verification of payments and take appropriate precautions to prevent them. One of them is hiring a good accountant who will deal with all the issues on time and also using a software's TMS systems that will help you identify the aging of each invoice and take timely actions. You know, the big companies have a policy of setting aside a certain percentage as a loss for situations like these. But when you only have one truck and you're facing deductions of $1,000 to $2,000 every two months, it's definitely not a good for a company's bottom line. It's just not a sustainable situation. The most important part of this lesson is all about solving problems. You won't believe it, but our records indicate that carriers start facing issues with non-payments within the first month after they send out an invoice. So, why does this happen? Well, the standard waiting time for the payment is 30 days. It's important to understand that in this situation, it wouldn't be right to put pressure on the broker to pay earlier. After all, the contract has already been signed and everyone knows the payment terms. 
except for quick pay, of course. Now let's dive into strategies and steps involved in resolving the problem when the payment hasn't been received for more than 30 days. We'll explore all the ways to tackle the situation head on. Before we dive into the problem solving strategies, let's take a closer look at the different types of issues that can pop up during the work process. Get ready for a list of hurdles. Paperwork issues. Missing pages of a POD or bill of lading. Missing labels, packing slips, receipts, trailer control records, and others. Originals not sent to broker. System or human error. Payment was missed. Payment sent to a wrong recipient. Invoice related issues. No invoice received. Wrong amount billed. Invoice sent to wrong address. Load invoice later than usual. Critical situations. Difficult to resolve issues. Bad broker. Double brokering. Claim opened. Load not invoiced at all. To solve all of these problems, it's very important to involve multiple parties. Let's break it down. Carrier team. This includes the driver, dispatcher, and carrier themselves. These are the folks who really know the ins and outs of the process. They are the ones who can tackle the problem the quickest and the most efficiently. Broker team. Here we have the accounting department, the broker agent, and their customer. This group is essential to providing information about the problem at hand. They can also offer potential solutions or even process the payment without necessarily solving the underlying issue. Shipper and receiver. In cases where the paperwork issues arise, these parties come into play. They are the ones who can provide all the necessary paperwork they have. And guess what? They are usually very helpful in sorting things out. Bond. Sometimes the help of a bond is needed, especially when the broker isn't following the agreement they signed with the carrier. Additionally, if a broker withholds payment for more than 90 days without a valid reason, the bond can step to assist. Collectors. They are the ones who deal with brokers who don't have active authorities or various scammers. They are also the ones to turn to when an invoice remains unpaid for extended period, sometimes even a year or more. Now that we've covered the different types of problems that can arise, it's time to roll up our sleeves and explore effective strategies for resolving these challenges. This lesson comes with a valuable resource, a comprehensive instruction manual on how to resolve all the issues we discussed earlier. It includes a step-by-step -step process, important contact information for brokers, guidance on applying for every bond, and even reliable contacts for collectors who can help you recover your money for a fee, of course. The importance of having this information at your fingertips cannot be stressed enough. It empowers you with, with the knowledge and the tools necessary to navigate through challenging situations successfully. So, make sure to pay close attention to this invaluable resource and keep it handy whenever you encounter any of these situations. Trust me, it will be your guiding light on the path to resolving problems effectively and getting what you rightfully deserve. It's crucial to understand that as a carrier, you can be held responsible for non-payment. And the reasons behind it can be numerous. Let me paint a picture for you. Imagine a claim filed against you for damaged goods or important paperwork that mysteriously disappear. Well, it's no surprise then that you could end up losing potentially thousands of dollars. And here is the real problem. Reclaiming the money can be lengthy processed, stretching for weeks or even months. In some unfortunate cases, you might never get it back at all. Let me share a case study from one of our carriers to illustrate the point. A load was successfully delivered, no damage and no rejected product. Everything seemed fine. Well, turns out an invoice was issued for the load and after 30 to 40 days, guess what we discovered? The broker missed important packing slips and confirmations for each stop's good delivery. How did this happen? The shipper failed to provide these critical documents to the driver, and both the dispatcher and the driver were unaware of their significance when it comes to getting paid. So, what followed was over six months of negotiations between the carrier and the broker as they tried desperately to prove that they had met all the necessary requirements. Trust me, it was a frustrating ordeal. Once the goods are delivered and the driver has left the site, resolving the situation and obtaining the missing documents becomes 
an uphill battle. In this particular case, the issue remained unresolved until it was escalated to bond. That's right, things got serious. The bond confirmed that according to the broker's policy, we needed to provide the missing paperwork. It wasn't until the broker verified with the customer that they had indeed received all the products that after more than six months, they finally made the payment for the load. In conclusion, it is important to know that you can prevent problems by closely watching every step of the load process. Paying attention to the key actions during the shipment is very important. The more evidence you have to support the position, the faster and more effective you'll be at solving any problems that arise. Remember that being proactive and having solid proof is essential for resolving issues successfully. Don't let yourself get caught in a payment debacle. Ensure all your documents are in order and communicate effectively with the broker. By doing so, you will save yourself from unnecessary headaches and financial losses. You're already well aware of how important it is to have a solid accounting system in place and diligently follow up on every invoice until you or your factoring company gets that sweet payment. You understand the value of having some assistance to manage these crucial tasks. But let's not forget about the financial side of things. Your business is all about making a profit, right? Well, every unpaid invoice works against that goal. It's like a thorn in your side, undermining all your hard work and dedication, as well as the efforts of your amazing team. We can't let paperwork and unscrupulous individuals dampen your success. Of those unpaid invoices eat into your net profit, putting your business at an economic disadvantage. And you know what? All of the brokers out there hope to wear down your resolve by delaying payment. Well, we're not going to let them succeed. That's why it's absolutely important to delve into the information provided in these lessons. Take a good look and identify the specific problem you're currently facing. Figure out which steps still need to be completed. And here's the golden rule. Maintain timely and ongoing communication with all the parties involved in the process. This open line of communication will help you keep you on the top of an issue and pave the way for a successful resolution. So, take a charge, stay on top of things and don't let those unpaid invoices hold you back by losing a good part of your net profit.